Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to make a Skype bot today using the Chatterbot API and the Skype for Java API. The downloads are in the description, so just download them to your desktop before you begin the video and, and we can get started. Alright, <clears throat> first we need to make a new Java project. We're going to call it Skype Java Bot. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and just add, add the library I just told you guys to download in the description. So right click on the project, then go to build path, and then go to add external archives. I save mine to the desktop. So the chatterbot api.jar and the skype.java api 1.4.jar. Alright, now before we can begin coding, we're going to need a package. So make a cap package and just call it skype package. Now we just need two classes. One we'll call Skype main and make sure you click here and select public static void main. Alright, now another new class and you can call this one my listener and then don't add a public static void main to it. Alright, now here First things first, so just call your own class, then we're going to call some functions from the Skype API. Skype dot add chat message listener, and we're going to pass in our listener class as our listener. Do my listener. Alright. Okay. It's giving you this error because you need to add some code to uh, the my listener, listener class. Just click let my listener implement chat message listener. It'll add it for you. Alright. Now save and then go here and select unimplement, add unimplemented methods. Alright, there you go. Save in here for a little bit. Alright, now we need to set up the declaration. Add the Skype exception. Alright. Now, Skype.set in false. Alright, now that's done with our, our main class. Now we can go to our listener. And this, this is actually going to be really easy, easy guys. Alright. Now, we need a private void my listener my listener string my message because we're going to pass in our message and chat my chats. The reason we're passing in chat is because we need to know what chat to send a message to. So put so your cursor here and import com.skype. Alright. Now, um, to actually get um, to actually get um, messages right here you you just change this to the message that way you can remember what it is and then make a try catch catch and here put final skype exception ex and then ex dot print dot trace um and up here you can put um my 
this center. Rack message dot get content because that's gonna pass in your message as a string. Now we also need a chat to which we're gonna communicate with. So rack message dot get chat. And that passes in both the message and the chat into the minus and method as parameters. Alright. Now just in case you want to see it in the console too, which I do, just add edit this for a console display of Skype interaction. System out print ln um slash n plus back message dot get sender display name and this is just separated and then show you what their uh, message is plus rec message dot get content this is completely over there this is just so you can see in the console as it's interacting I like to do that just so that I can see it. Um, all right, now here change the name of R zero to sent message. This is just a function that uh, activates whenever you send the message. You can go ahead and put whatever you want in it. I'm just gonna make it so that you can see what you're actually um, what you're actually saying. So another try catch. And put final Skype exception ex and then ex dot print stack trace and then inside the try catch just put system dot out print ln slash n and then send message dot get sender display name plus semicolon and stuff then rack message dot get uh, sent message sent message dot get content all right, that, that takes, takes care of our message to, you know, what we're gonna do whenever we get, get or receive a message. Now here's, here's where we're actually gonna make the bot work. All right, this part's gonna be easy, guys. But it's also, also the fun part, part, so pay attention. We need, need to, we need to call the classes. Chatter bot factory, my factory equals new chatter bot factory and we need an input library all right now chatterbot skype bot equals new my factory dot um, what's the problem here chatterbot <laughs> um, Skype bot is equal to dot create and here put chatter bot type dot and then you can choose which bot you want clever bot, chatter bot, you are Pandora bots um, clever bot glitches sometimes it doesn't work Pandora bot I'm not, I'm not sure, sure if it works. Jabberwocky works though. Uh, Jabberwocky is pretty good. good. Alright, so we're going to be using Jabberwocky. Alright, so do that. Don't forget to put in Poland. Uh, import anything that tells you to import. This here needs a Cyril's declaration. It needs an exception. Alright, now 
to make a chatterbot session. Skype session equals Skype bot dot create session and import titles. Yep. All right. Now we need a try catch. And put in a final Skype exception. Exception. Yes. Yes. That prints that trace. Uh, all right. And it's just going to now. Um, and then put. put my message is equal to Skype session dot think my message so that way the bot will respond with whatever it thinks about my message. Now bring in the chat. <clears throat> Final chat chatter up is equal to my chess. Chatter up. Uh, send my message. Now, what's the problem here? pretty much everything that you get on Skype. You can even set it up to handle phone calls if you want to. It's a little slow to start up though. Alright, there it is. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the bot working um, from my, my botting um, server, I guess. But it's running on my computer, and then I'm going to talk to it from the server. Guys, as you can see, it works. Just give it a second to start up when you first launch it. Also, if it's not responding, you need to check if um, Skype has given you a notification that you're trying to access Skype through java.w.exe. It's just a Java virtual machine trying to get access. Just say okay. Alright, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.